Hey guys, what's up? Drew here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dromina Short Course Truck, also known as the SC 4.18. This is their newer model, and I just want to apologize for this purple-ish around the camera. My camera is kind of like broke. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm recording off my iPhone. Um, so we'll look at the box first. I already opened this, and I taped the edges because I want to say something about this box. This box and most boxes for small scale RC cars use them as your carry in case. It works great for that. Um, so you can see on the box you got the truck here, and you can see the price was one nineteen, and I got it for seventy dollars on sale. Um, this is their new paint design with the blue, the yellow, and the white. It looks really nice. You can see all terrain, all weather action. Torque 370 motor, high traction tires. I already took this for a drive. Uh, that'll be in this video, so just stick around if you want to see that. Besides, you just get pictures of the truck. Side view from the top. Let's see, it says there, waterproof. Um, 2.4 RTR, four wheel drive, 20 miles per hour. And this literally comes with everything you need, even batteries for the controller. Um, inside, I already have the truck on, I just stuffed it back in here quick. You get the truck, of course, the controller, which is this nice, what looks to be like a Fly Sky controller, drometer branded. I have it on right now, I forgot to turn it off. Um, you can see a nice little brake disc in there. Feels very nice. Foam wheel. Throttle, steering trim, throttle trim, um, dual rate, steering dual rate, throttle dual rate, on off switch right here, reverse switches, um, some indicator lights there, no collapsible antenna, it's just this nub, which I do like. Um, put the truck over here for one second. You get the charger here, which I like. It's, well, I like it and I don't like it. This took like, I think it was like three or four hours to charge a little nickel metal hydride battery. It's very compact and it uses a USB. So I just use my iPhone charger here. And I pretty much just, uh, hold on a second. I just plug it in there and I plug it into the wall. Um, I think if you use like one of those Samsung fast chargers, it might charge it a little faster. Yeah, so pretty much all you do is you plug your battery in here. This little light on here right there will turn red. And when it turns green, it's nice and charged. Um, let me just open this really quick. Alright, so in there you get your instruction manual for your um, charger here. If this is your first RC, I would definitely read that. You get the battery for the transmitter. Some shock spacers for the truck, which I might have to use because those shocks are a little bit soft for me. Um, you get the manual for the truck itself, which seems extremely small. Very small. It's literally two pages long. They give you some instructions here on how to drive it and whatever. Not impressed. Don't really like this. This is kind of garbage to me because there's absolutely no exploded views in there nothing so that's kind of a disappointment like i said you get the batteries and everything let me just get the truck all right here. so here's the truck i've taken the clips out of the body the body design is very nice it's got this nice uh yellow and blue it looks like it's splashed almost here it's got the netting so 118 scale truck. Um, it's a pretty cool looking little truck. It's a little odd looking how wide it is, but I guess that's just how they look. Um, I'll turn the controller back on because the truck is on. Um, the body itself, the durability of it, it's got four pins that hold it in. It feels like a nice body. I already drove it before. Um, it's a little flimsy. Well, yeah, it's a little flimsy. And one thing I want to show you guys is when the body is on the truck, these wheels rub on the body very badly. You can hear all that rubbing happening. Um, suspension itself, it feels nice. 
here. Feels very nice actually. Um, it's just only problem I have is everything is plastic, and the plastic is good quality. You can see plastic drive shafts. I believe those are yeah, those are plastic. Plastic dog bones. Everything is plastic. N absolutely no metal on this. No aluminum. Nothing. But I guess for the price point, it's pretty good. You can see it's a little dirty because I drove it. Um, like I said, the suspension. It's pretty good. You could actually see that shock right there. I just noticed this. Has some liquid coming out of it. So hopefully those aren't leaking. I only drove this truck twice and you could see on this wheel it's already taken damage. It's very disappointing to me. This rim has cracked already and that you could see, I'll show you in the running video after this, that will be in this video so stick around if you want to see that. I jumped it off a little bump in my driveway and it kind of rolled. It wasn't extreme and it cracked it. It's very cold outside too though so I don't know if that, ha that has to do with it. The battery you get is, hold on one second, held in with two clips here and then this little tray comes out. It's a 7.2 volt 1300 milliamp nickel model hydride. You get like a 15 to 20 minute run, t uh, run time on this battery here. Connector is some odd drama type battery connector. Um, even the center drive shaft is plastic and that just that alone worries me because I don't know if you guys watched my other videos but I had a WL Toys A959 in here and that had steel drive shafts steel center drive shaft um the only thing wrong with that truck was the suspension was horrible buggy i should say watch that video that car cost me like 40 dollars i think 30 40 dollars this is obviously brand new if it's not on sale it's over a hundred dollars it's 120 dollars from habako which is overpriced in my opinion uh i do like the truck though it has plenty of upgrades and support is good you get your servo heat down here, which is pretty quick. Um, this servo saver on here is absolutely horrible. You're constantly adjusting your steering trim. Um, yeah, so you're constantly adjusting your steering trim. Sorry, my dog was just barking. Um, this servo saver is just horrible. On off switch right here. You, this is your ESC and receiver combo, which seems to work fine. It says it's waterproof two channel the motor you get a little 370 size motor uh, the gears are fully covered there I mean I guess dirt getting there but you really have to drive in some serious sand um, the actual plastics do feel pretty good besides the rims the bumpers are nice and squishy so they could probably take a pretty good hit a little soft felt like I almost just broke it there actually little soft pretty good though um, you could definitely put lights in here if you wanted to like I said the only thing about this that worries me is no pla no metal at all even the out drives here are plastic um, that worries me a lot because especially when it's cold out right now like it is and you have like plastic getting brittle in the cold this is not the truck to be running in that kind of condition if you're going to be hitting things uh, the tires themselves feel okay they have doesn't feel like they have any foam in them no absolutely no foam so I got you're... my storage up full so like I was saying if you hit a bump at high speed this wheel will crack or if you flip at high speed there's nothing protecting these little plastic rims um, and like I showed you before, this wheel, yeah, cracked completely off there. So that's a problem. The rim feels like it goes out to about right there where my nail is. So you're hitting a bump. Immediately it's going to just hit that rim and just destroy it like it did here. So that's the overview of this little car. So we'll take it outside. Well, I already recorded it. So I'll just put that in here. 
and then I'll do a little outro. Well, I guess this kind of was like a middle tro. So I'll show you guys that now. Alright, so now we're outside with the drama short course truck, 118 scale. Um, and we'll just take it for a little spin. Alright, so stock nickel metal hydride battery on the driveway. It's a quick little car, but it's got a lot of understeer. Touch. So I'm coming in at high speed. When I go to turn, you can see. Um, and the steering constantly needs to be adjusted. See a little jump there. It's a quick little car, though. Definitely impressed by it. Like I said, I got this one for like 80 bucks. It was on sale. The tires feel pretty good. Suspension is pretty good. Like I said, with that steering trim, it's constantly wanting to pull in one direction. And you constantly have to adjust it. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's a perfect beginner car, though, definitely. Especially at this price point. Only buy it though if it's on sale because it's kind of a lot to pay $100 for a 118 scale truck when it's brushed. So I got mine for like $70, I think. Pretty good price. Definitely worth the money. Plenty of upgrades available for these. Um, I'm gonna take it on the grass. Right, so I got it on the grass now. And it does fairly well with that four wheel drive. I just want to see how really all these plastic parts are going to hold up. There you see a lot of understeer I just got trying to turn. Also it's not very high up off the ground, there it goes again. Um, my impressions of this car, like I said, are it's a nice little car. I really do like it and I look forward to upgrading it and adding some aluminum to it, making it stronger. Um, like I said, though, not a lot of ground clearance. It's kind of like an on-road car, but with off-road tires and body and whatever. Um, not much else to say about it. Taking on the street next. You can see that I hit the wire for the lights there. The only thing I'm having, though, is the steering is my main problem. I don't know if it's the four-wheel drive making it understeer a lot, or just the geometry of the way it's set up. It's also cold outside. Very cold, so the grass might be a little slippery, frozen. Um, this thing took like three or four hours to charge that little battery. I'm gonna guess it's gonna get by around like a 15 to 20 minute run time. I ran this thing yesterday with my cousins. It's pretty fun. Um, yeah, so let me just bring you guys over to the street really quick. All right, so this video, I'm not gonna do any like top uh, GPS runs. I'm just going to show you guys on the street here. You can even see that understeer on the street. That's full lock left. Very wide turning radius circle. Uh, full lock right. Full throttle. I mean, if you control the throttle, it's much better. But, like I said, understeer is pretty bad. Maybe there's an aluminum upgrade for that that might just fix all the slop that makes you constantly have to trim it um I definitely mixed feelings about this car i think it's a great little car i haven't really tested it fully yet so i can't really tell you it's a quick little car do a little jump here on my driveway a little pump on the driveway there jumps on it Suspension is very soft. And, oh, it landed nice. 
Yeah, you can see it's pretty low to the ground. You heard it bottom out there. Um, it takes the jumps really nicely though. It lands good. I definitely feel the battery going down a little bit now. Um, seems to take a hit pretty good. All plastic drive shafts, like I said, it's like 20 degrees out right now. I'm freezing. I'm sure the car's freezing too. You can see that. The way you think, if you land the jumps dead on, it takes them really nice. It absorbs all the hit. It bounce really. Try to get a good jump in here. That was a nice one right there. That was a pretty nice one. Not much power though to control the jump. But again, got it for 70 bucks. I definitely like this little truck though. I could sit out here for a while and play with it. And then I just flipped it over. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for the outdoor test. It's absolutely freezing outside. And this little guy seemed to hold up pretty well. Oh, I do see a problem here. Big problem, actually. The rim has cracked. So, we'll bring it back inside. And we'll see the extent right, of that. So like I said before, the damage is pretty bad from the cold. But some super glue should fix that. I'm going to get some new rims and tires for these soon anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Uh, follow, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link in, this, in the description. And if you want to see more on this truck, let me know. I'm definitely going to be upgrading some things on it. It's a fun little truck and I like it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and bye.